One year ago exactly, she was still in coma. I was in Singapore General Hospital and I was just praying for her to... They, at the time, they were already telling me she would make it, like be alive, but they had no idea on how. But yeah, a year ago she was unable to speak, she was unable to eat, unable to walk, she lost 15 kilos, something like this. She was not even 40 kilos. She was in the bed and it was... A year ago, every day was worse and worse and worse. She might die, she might be, 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 be dead, and she might leave us, and she might never recognize you. She might never recognize the family. She might be a very different person. She might be a very different personality. The best stories, the most beautiful stories are, are written with blood and sweat and problems, right? And tears, right? It's this. It's the most amazing stories are built with all of these and it makes a hell of a story. And I cried. I was crying for two weeks already. So there is no more tears, right? So it's dry completely. And the thing is, it's like, okay, that sucks. I put that on the side. Time. How is it going to be? And you just hope that time becomes your friend and your friend time will make it better. You weren't sure if I would know how to use the toilet, how to eat, how to speak, how to write, and if I would see anything if I was half blind. It was super difficult for you, how you stayed with me even with the toughest times we've ever seen. Even then, when I didn't have a skull in my head, you still made me laugh more than anyone. Moi, Cédric, je te reçois à Monique comme épouse. Je promets de te rester fidèle dans le bonheur et dans les épreuves, dans la santé et dans la maladie, pour t'aimer tous les jours de ma vie. Then she kept telling me, you have to leave me. Please leave me. You need a better life. You know you love that person, right? When she's in the, the bottom of her hospital bed, and the only thing she worries about is that you get a good life. Yeah, you can get married to that person, right? journey to go back up is pretty awesome. She starts squeezing my hand, she starts listening to her voice, she starts to answer commands. This was amazing. Then she starts walking again, she started talking a little bit, then she started to decide to eat by herself. It took her all of the people you're gonna see tonight to get her where she is. In every moment of doubt, you make me feel confident. In sickness, you make me feel cared for. In times of failure, you make me feel strong. In our darkest times, you always make me feel hopeful. And so today I tell you that I might not know 
how times will be, how life will be. But I know that we will always, always make you feel better. When I couldn't remember some things, you kept my memories. When I couldn't remember the lyrics of my favorite song, you sang to me. When I couldn't remember the words of our other, our father's prayer, you prayed for me. Me, every time I look at it, it gives me so much strength. It's like, it's the hardest thing you had to do in your life. And one year later, we get married. We've been doing it pretty well. We did pretty well. It's okay. We, we should say, good job, good job, right? I'm like, look at where you are and what's going to happen. I vow to make you really laugh out loud and I will promise to keep creating a life for us of unexpected and fun adventures all the way to our first.